winds in the west today, but a brighter outlook tomorrow. All the details of that and more coming up on Good Morning Britain. I promise you. Uh, before we get to the weather, you may well have seen at the weekend there was a picture of Greta Thunberg, who is obviously disproportionately affected by climate change. Research from Science Journal has now found that if we don't bring down our global temperatures, children, my children, would be the ones that would be most affected with the consequences. And then we look at then those who turn six in 2020, so for those born in 2014, they will experience twice as many wildfires with the three degrees of warming than say my mother would have done and then we also will they'll see twice as many tropical cyclones storms crashing into coastlines we will see at least four times more crop failures and then there'll be five times more droughts across the world and most shocking of all that there'll be 36 times more heat wave compared to those born in pre-industrial times so i just think about the experience that my mum will have had in her lifetimes with the heat waves and the droughts and the wildfires and that that my daughter charlotte will experience and these findings are really alarming and this is why it's these young people that are really tackling it and with a big climate conference coming up in november in just over a month's time it'll be these young voices that are so important about how we can help to reduce the impact on our planet. Now, weather-wise, close to home, it is looking wet and windy yet again today. We had that heavy band of rain yesterday. Today, the outlook is for heavy showers sweeping across the country, low pressure close by. And when we have that for this time of year, it basically just signals autumnal weather, cloudy, wet, windy, and cool. These heavy bands of rain sweeping through, warnings likely to be issued, particularly as we head into the weekend. Today, these heavy rain comes with strong winds as well. So we've got heavy rain, through western areas this morning this all marching its way eastwards as we head through the day scotland and northern ireland sunny spells and a few light showers showers light in the east before we see heavy rain this evening but don't worry richard drier for tomorrow <laughs> Our unsettled week of weather is continuing. Low pressure firmly in charge. It sits to the northwest and it brings with it weather front after weather front from the Atlantic, feeding in cloud, wind, rain, and also some much cooler conditions through the next few days. For today, we have heavy rain and showers through western areas. That'll all move eastwards. On top of that, some strong winds developing. But in between, there will be some sunshine. First thing this morning, the driest conditions are first that much of Scotland, Northern Ireland, central and eastern areas of England. But from the west already, we can see these showers arriving through Wales and southwestern areas of England. They all move eastwards. So basically don't leave the house without an umbrella today. There at some point will be some rain or showers moving their way through. Northern areas of England, Wales and the southwest, more persistent rain around by this afternoon. Central and eastern areas, it's a story of sunshine and showers. And similarly, Scotland and Northern Ireland, sunshine and showers in these temperatures 14 to 18 is pretty much where we should be for the time of year but when we add in the strength of the wind it will feel much colder than that so let's take a look at our seven day outlook where our weekend is in view a sneak peek at next week as well so for scotland northern ireland and for northern areas of england average temperature wise we can see it's around about 17 degrees but we are way down on where we should be as we head through the rest of the week looking at our percentage chance of rainfall it's easy to see weather symbols nearly every day are looking wet Today, we have our heavy rain moving through, but Wednesday, your driest day of the week before Thursday, Friday, all through the weekend into next week, our heavy rain and showers look set to continue with warnings likely to be issued as well. Fortunes further south then for England and Wales for the next seven days away from the north of England. Again, temperatures remain below average. It's cool by day and by night. But again, it's the percentage chance of rainfall that really is the thing here. High as we head through today, heavy band of rain moves in from the west. Again, Wednesday is your driest day, but then successions of weather fronts just queue up for the rest of the week, bringing heavy rain, particularly through western areas. Warn is likely to be issued, but not just wet, also windy. Good morning to you. The weather is looking really unsettled as we... <laughs> I knew you were going to do that. They're just... I'm not even moving. The sound effects are because I'm wearing a pair of sustainable pleather trousers. <laughs> I didn't have my breakfast yet. In these trousers, I can't eat a thing and there's a whole cupboard of sweets waiting for me and I can't eat any of them. And yes, and earlier you'll see that Erin, the director, thought it was hilarious that when you sit down, the trousers wrinkle up. So then I asked floor manager Vicky if she wouldn't mind pulling my trousers down. <laughs> 
like that. <laughs> so, um, so yes, so the trousers are all intact. So just we get over it. We're going to move on with the weather. Uh, Weather-wise, it's looking unsettled. Low pressure is in charge and it feels autumnal. We had this big change to the weather yesterday. It's set to spread across the country today. A brief window of dry weather tomorrow, but successions of the weather fronts queuing up and they'll move in basically every day for the rest of the week with warnings likely to be issued for the amount of rainfall we're having. So today, heavy rain in the west will march its way eastwards. Don't leave the house without an umbrella. You will certainly need it later, but not just wet, also windy. This morning, Northern Ireland, Scotland starting dry, showers moving in here later. A fine start for central and eastern England. That won't last. Through the day today, heavy rain and showers through Wales and southwest England. They all spread their way eastwards. Accompanying that, some strong winds with temperatures 14 to 18, feeling colder in the wind. Welcome back to Good Morning Britain. It is another day of wet and windy weather sweeping across the UK. Low pressure close by. Autumn is here and it stays all week long. Today we have a band of rain moving through. Actually a bit of a respite tomorrow as dry weather moves in. But then from Thursday onwards, right into the weekend, low pressures bring yet more wet and windy conditions and warnings likely to be issued. First thing this morning though, maybe dry and bright for eastern areas, but heavy rain in the west will soon spread eastwards, accompanied by some strong winds. So this is what we're greeted with this morning. Dry for much of Northern Ireland and Scotland, eastern areas of England too, but further west we have heavy rain moving in through Wales and southwest England. That will move its way towards northern England and the Midlands by this afternoon. For eastern England, Scotland and Northern Ireland, an afternoon of sunshine and showers. Good morning to you. Earlier on the office, we were looking at the incredible images of the across the Mediterranean. Uh, Weather-wise, closer to home though, it is looking wet and windy. That's the theme as we head through the next few days. Low pressure close by, weather fronts sweeping in from the west and the outlook remains wet and windy. Today's heavy rain starts through western areas, moves its way through northern England, the Midlands, Wales, southwest England this afternoon. Elsewhere, a story of sunshine and showers.